In this video, I'm going to show you the very basic skill of how to chop an onion. First things first, make sure that you are extremely comfortable with the knife you're using. I like my knife to be lightweight, extremely sharp, and contain the gills running down the knife. This ensures that when I'm chopping, nothing will stick to my knife. So first of all, take your onion and turn it on its side, taking the top off. Discard the top. When chopping through the onion, make sure you leave the root on, as this makes the chopping process a lot easier, as you'll see throughout the video. So just chop straight through the root. This will give you two halves of onion, both containing the root. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to slice an onion. The correct technique for this is putting your middle finger at the front and two fingers at the back. Using your middle finger as a guide for the knife, letting the knife run up and down your middle finger. I believe that this is the best way and the safest way. I believe it's the best way because you can gauge how thick or thin you want the slices. As you can see, my slices are quite thick. I'm using them to caramelize and put in a soup. Um, I believe it's the safest way because your fingers aren't underneath anything, so you know where the knife is going. You're controlling the knife's movement. So it's overall a lot uh, the safest and best way. So very simple to do, sliced onion. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to roughly chop an onion. This involves making loads of little slices on the onion and then making four cuts into the slices you've just made. So again, using the technique we've just talked about, your middle finger at the front, two fingers at the back, using your middle finger as a guide to guide the knife through the onion, make as thin slices as you can. Then, make four slices into the onion. This is my third slice and this is my fourth slice. As you can see, the onion is still in its shape. That's because we left the root on at the start. If we'd have took the root off at the start, the onion would have just fell apart now. So just just run your knife through the onion and you get these wonderful little sh little shards of onion. Roughly chopped. At the end, I always like to chop around the root. This avoids wastage. Um, as you can see, very minimal amount of wastage. I believe this is extremely important as you, to, you need to get the most out of your ingredients and, and I believe any good chef doesn't, doesn't waste anything. So at the end I'll just chop through the onion just to make sure there's no irregularities within the onion which makes the cooking process a lot easier as well. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to finely chop onions. So this straight, just chop the onion straight through the middle, turn it on its side and then just chop straight through the root this time. You need to take the root out. So discard the root. So the onion has to be flat on the board and then make as thinly sliced as you can. You need, uh, it really is important to thinly slice your onions. This will determine how fine your onion is at the end. So just take the onion, turn it around and flatten it down. Just like that. And then just run your knife through it as, as thinly as you can. So as you can see, Slices are coming out extremely fine on the other side. Uh, this is amazing for dressings, marinades. I use this for stock, so I will make my homemade stock, put it in an ice cube tray, and then add a little bit of this onion, this very finely chopped onion. It just adds body and depth to my stock. So when I'm ready to pop it in a soup or a stew, anything like that, I've got some, um, some depth to also add to the stock. This onion just adds that also perfumes it. There we go, finely chopped onion and again just run your knife through it to again make sure there's no irregularities throughout the onion. It's all the same size. Now I'm just going to place it in my bowl. There we go, finely chopped onions. That's it on chopping onions. I hope that you've learnt something new and overall that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more. If you'd like to follow me on either on Twitter or on my website, the details are at the end of the video. So just a reminder, this is the roughly chopped onion. This one. The next one is the sliced onion. This is the sliced onion. And then the last one is the finely chopped onion.